Let's start with an update and a situation or sa Julian Felipe. Kamusta po ba ngayon? We are glad to report. Uh, I believe we just released the uh, information to, to the media uh, through the spokesperson of the National Task Force that from a high of 220 vessels a uh, month ago, uh, ngayon ay siyam na lang po. Uh, we, we found that figure uh, Sunday when we had our last maritime air patrol. But I just received a report from our Coast Guard personnel aboard the BRP Cabra that it's now down to six. Mm, okay. So, sa hulian Pilipiri, but we can still some, see some of them in the other features in the West Philippine Sea. Okay, but so what does this make of your plan? Uh, are you go still going to increase maritime and sovereignty patrols in the West Philippine Sea? Yes, of course. Uh, it has been a directive of the chief of staff to increase our operational tempo here. And he has been lending us uh, additional assets. Uh, he has assigned to me uh, four, four vessels from the Philippine Navy. And on top of that, as the task force component, the Philippine Coast Guard has sent two ships. One of them is currently in Pagasa Island. And one is in reserve at El Nido. Then we were also the beneficiary of five B4 vessels who are here. So right now, as we speak, two of them are in group to the Kalayan Island group to do patrols uh, for the protection of our fishermen and uh, on our EEZ. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the airplanes are concerned, we we have uh, two small aircraft and we can have has on call uh, a larger aircraft to patrol the extreme distant parts of the of the Kalayan Island group. Yes, sir. Sir, well, it's good to good to hear na it's down to six. Uh, however, that, that is a quantitative uh, measure. Uh, what about uh, what kind of ships uh, are involved here? Because, of course, there's a big difference between having uh, fishing vessels or militia vessels or or even an aircraft carrier uh kahit isa lang yan uh, malaking bagay yun pag uh, pag pag uh, warship eh. so what exactly are we looking at six uh, vessels na anong klase po uh, four of these are patrol ships which are capable of patrolling the west philippine seas and one of the uh, the ships right uh, in one of our features right now is a logistics vessel it is undergoing <laughs> Well, uh, Sorry, okay. Admiral. I, I, yes, I meant for you Chinese vessels. China. Chinese vessels. Yeah. Oh. Chinese vessels. So you mean the uh, combatant uh, vessels? Yes. We... Yung naiiwan, yung naiiwan po dun na anim na. Sab sabi niyo your latest report you uh, you uh, spotted at least uh, six vessels na lang dun sa Hawaiian yes. Philippe Reef uh, belonging to China. What kind of vessels po are are we talking about there? Well, uh, we formally uh, formerly called them fishing vessels. But uh, we need to be certain that they are really fishing vessels. But uh, the ones left at the Puna Philippi Bank are what we call the China Maritime Militia Vessels. Okay, uh, Militia. Why, why do we call it that? Uh, oh, bakit nga? We have nomenclature about, regarding, about, uh, regarding them. We have information about them that uh, even the Chinese uh, themselves are published that these are maritime militia vessels. Uh, meaning to say that they are in control. They are clearly not private uh, vessels. They do not do fishing. If you have noticed yeah. in our previous, uh, previous reports, they are just bunched there and they are not really doing fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, we can show you uh, actual fishing vessels, but uh, most of the vessels there are what we classify as maritime militia vessels from China. So they're specifically there as presence, not for commercial purposes like fishing. That is, not for uh, purposes. That is what we know because uh, when the Chinese embassy stated that they are fishing vessels, uh, it's very hard to understand why they are just are anchoring there despite the very good weather that we had last, uh, since March. But uh, unfortunately, uh, not all of them actually left the area, but they just transferred from one, one location or another. So we still have around 240 of them scattered all over the Kalayan Island group. Oh, oh so they're they're still in so the Kalayan Island group, but yes. they just dispersed. Yes. 
So parang yung nagpinula natin sila sa Holy Antilipere, they started to withdraw uh, from a high of uh, 220. 220 nga. Uh, they now 9, but uh, we noted uh, that we, we, when we are able, we fly across the Karen Island group, and we saw that they are they basically just transferred from one teacher to another. Mm. Uh, problema namin po dito ngayon, we do not have that particular equipment or asset to back them out at uh, one snapshot. So mm -hmm. when we fly, we can only fly to several teachers, so we report what we can. Uh, but we are still looking forward to additional assets so we can go for a sweep of the area mm. in a single in a single time. Sir, sir, sir to be clear, uh, kung ang pinag-uusapan lang is Julian Felipe Reef, umalis na yung karamihan doon. But they are still within EEZ ng Philippines. Yes, exactly po. Mm. You're correct. So what we are trying to do is uh, we try to map them out and forward the appropriate information to the National Task Force for the West Philippine Sea for their appropriate action. And most of the time, uh, frankly, I think we have been sending recommendations to, fly, to file diplomatic actions against China almost every week because every time we see them, they're, they're still there, basically. They, may have, they might have moved out of Hulen Kuyipiri in great numbers, but they are still in the other parts of our EEZ. Mm -hmm. Admiral, I have a context question lang po. Papang context lang po. Uh, itong 220, sabi nga ninyo, uh, wala na sila doon sa Julian Felipe. They are now dispersed throughout uh, the, the Kalayan Island Group uh, within our EEC. Uh, pero at any particular time ba in the last year, for example, uh, did we have that, say, that more or less same number of uh, vessels ng Chinese uh, in the area or in-increase nila? Ibig sabihin, Ngayon na dinisperse sila yung 200, they, are we parang back to normal ba? Uh, in the sense na, na ganyan karami naman dati yung mga sasakyan doon, mga uh, Chinese vessels doon, o, o talagang uh, significantly dinamihan nila yung uh, vessels doon sa Kalayan Island? Uh, with regard to that question, Ed, uh, way back 2019, we already have information that there are more or less 300 to 350 Chinese vessels here in the PIG. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, for the whole figure in the South China Sea, we have an estimate of there are at least 1,000 Chinese uh, vessels all over South China Sea. But in the okay. particular part of the country, in the PIG, we had uh, the information before that there are, there are between 300 to 350 vessels at any one time. That's why we are still looking for them because uh, we know that just because we cannot see them, that they are not there. So what I am requesting for high headquarters is to provide me the, with the assets and the capability to map out the KIG in one suite.